Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, today we are going to look into the mathematic reasoning topic. Come, let's have a look the question. Okay, tell you. Before we do this chapter, you must know what they ask. Okay, soalan A they can ask in two form. Number one, they can ask statement or non-statement. Dalam bahasa Melayu kita bagi pernyataan ataupun bukan pernyataan. Okay, second one, they can ask true statement ataupun false statement. I repeat lagi. Dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil pernyataan benar ataupun pernyataan palsu. Here statement ataupun non statement kita panggil pernyataan ataupun bukan pernyataan. Are you clear? Okay, cikgu. Before we go into the deeper, okay, you must know we got two things. Cikgu, we got two perkataan. Ha? Kita ada dua wording yang betul-betul important. First, they will use the word and. Ataupun they will use what? Or Dalam bahasa Melayu Dia akan guna dan Yang lagi satu apa? Atau Are you okay? Now Sir, look at this Sir When kalau dia guna and You must be very clear Kalau and It's like this Kita ada dua Dia akan gabung jadi satu ha? For example For the and Satu betul Satu salah The answer automatic what? Salah Satu salah Satu betul Answer automatic what? Salah Untuk and Dua-dua pun salah Automatic answer will be what? Salah Dua-dua betul Then only the answer is what? Betul Cikgu ulang balik ya Untuk perkataan and Kalau ada satu salah Entire answer is what? Salah Tapi for all a bit different What is the difference? See here Untuk all Satu betul Satu salah What is answer? Betul Salah satu, satu lagi betul, answer is what? Betul Dua-dua pun betul, answer is what? Betul Dua-dua salah, then only the answer is what? Wrong So the conclusion For any, one wrong, entire answer is what? Wrong For all, one correct, entire answer is what? Correct Are you okay? Now, let's look at this Sir State whether the following statement is true ataupun what? False Dalam bahasa Melayu dia kata Nyatakan pernyataan berikut adalah benar ataupun palsu Okay, let me write down the question here 100 times 0 0.1 They say 10 Is it correct or wrong? Okay, let me show to you Okay, if you got calculator, you can press 100 times 0 0.1 You will get what? 10 Is it correct or wrong? Yes, correct Okay so, this one is correct. Am I right? Then they cut it done. And 5 divided by 100 equals to 0 0.5. Okay, we check with the calculator again. Sir, so, what happened? 5 divided by 100, you're supposed to get what? 0 0.05. So, yang belakang ni salah. Yes or no? So, now my question. For N, one wrong entire answer is what? Wrong. So, cara you nak tulis, the answer is what here? False. Dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil palsu Are you okay? One mark for this Now B Sir Now they ask you what is not Roman number 2 By using the quantifier all or some Complete the following to form a true statement Soalan dah kata dia kena jadi apa? True statement Are you okay? But you going to use the quantifier Quantifier means they are using what? All ataupun apa? Some They going to use all ataupun apa? Some Dalam bahasa Melayu Kita akan guna perkataan semua Ataupun sebilangan Are you okay? Sebilangan Are you okay? Now Untuk jadikan dia Betul lah Sekarang soalan kata apa? Piramid Okay Piramid F base what? F bases in the shape of what? Rectangle Okay Adakah semua piramid in the shape The base is rectangle? No Why? Can be square, can be rectangle For example like this This is my pyramid, am I right? The base ada ke rectangle? Okay, yes Sometimes can be what? Square Also can, are you agree? So, bukan odd Only going to be what? Sum So, dekat sini, we're going to fill in what? Sum Are you okay? Dalam bahasa Melayu kita panggil sebilangan Are you clear? Any question? Okay, very good Now, sekarang sir we going to look into the Conclusion Okay Let me scroll down a bit You can see here Okay Ini kita kena buat Conclusion Kesimpulan How to write the answer Very simple If S 
subset T, <coughs> then all the element in S can be found in what? T. Now, you all must be very clear. Sir, if this one happen, this will happen. If this one not happen, this one cannot be happen. Are you okay? So, sekarang sini dia sudah kata apa? S not subset of what? T. Here they say if subset of T, then you can be found in the T. Yes or no? Now is it subset? No. So, what is the answer? You can see the other S and T, S and T card ready. Yes or no? So, since this one cannot happen, what happened? All element is in S cannot be found in what? T. So, the answer will be all elements in S cannot be found in what? T. Are you okay? Now, that's all for today. We will see you for the part 2. Thank you very much.